Reading through a scholarly journal article doesn't have to be a time-consuming process. You can get the information you need in a short amount of time by skimming the article. Skimming means reading something quickly to find useful information you'll need to support your work. Scholarly articles, sometimes called peer-reviewed articles, will typically contain a title, abstract, an introduction with background information, methods and results if a study was conducted, a discussion or conclusion, and the references or works that they cited. Note that there could be some subsections within the article, but these are the main headings to focus on. You may notice that we will not be looking at the article in its exact order. Instead, we will be focusing on the key sections to be more efficient. Let's start with the article's title. What does it tell you the article may be about and how might it fulfill what you need to know? You may also see some of your key words in the title. Second, scroll down to the description and read it. This is also known as an abstract or a summary of the author's research findings. Read the abstract to determine if you should give the article a closer look. If the title and the abstract look like they'll work for your research, you can go ahead and open the full text. You can do this by clicking download the PDF at the top under the title. Once you open the full text of the article, take a look at the introduction. It comes at the very beginning of a journal article just after the abstract. The introduction will summarize a lot of information about the broader topic of research and give you other sources of information you may want to use. Remember, if any information is cited in the introduction, to use that information, you will need to follow the citation to the source. Sometimes it's as easy as clicking on a link. Don't play a game of telephone where you hope the authors of this paper are representing the authors of the other papers correctly. Next, scroll down to the discussion. This section offers an explanation of the article's findings and provides the reader an understanding of the research. Basically, they take the results and put them into context that will be easier to understand. Reading this will further help you determine if the article will meet your research needs. Here is also where you can find the evidence you are being asked to find by your professor. This is the meat of the article for most undergraduate researchers. If you made it to the point where the article is applicable to your research question, browse the section subheadings. At this point, you want to skim the sections relevant to you and locate main ideas. It may be helpful to use the Find tool to locate certain key words. You can do this on a PC by pressing Control F or on a Mac by pressing Command F. In this example, I searched for the word depression and clicked through until I found evidence that is helpful to my research involving the transition of undergraduate students from high school to college and if they are affected by depression. At this point, you may have all you need from the article, but before you move on, be sure to look at the article's references or works cited. This list can lead you to other valuable sources or provide you with citations from the information you previously collected in the introduction. Remember, if you found a piece of good information in the introduction, it was probably from another article, so be sure to locate the information there by searching for the article on the UB Libraries. Now you're done and ready to continue your research. If you have any other questions, be sure to go to the University at Buffalo Libraries website.